In this problem, we have light passing through two slits, which is creating an interference pattern on a screen that is some distance away. I'm going to define the distance between the screen and the slits as the variable L, which is given in the problem as 2.8 meters. And we're also told that the wavelength of the light in this case is 680 nanometers. So drawing this out on a diagram, as the light passes through the slits, the light will create an interference pattern with both constructive and destructive interference. So we're going to get the appearance of bright fringes at some vertical distance away from the central point. And we're going to call that vertical distance from the center X. So for whichever fringe or whichever point of interference we're looking at, I'm defining x to be the distance between the central point and that fringe. I'm also defining theta to represent the angle of that fringe from the central point. So in the case of this problem, we're specifically being asked about a third order bright fringe. So we're dealing with constructive interference. Now recall that the formula for constructive interference is that d, the distance between the slits, multiplied by the sine of theta, is equal to m, the order of the fringe, multiplied by the fringe's wavelength. Now we don't know anything about the angle, so we're going to apply the small angle approximation, which states that for very small angles, very small values of theta, the sine of theta is approximately equal to the tangent of theta. And if we look at our diagram, we can see that the tangent of theta, which is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side length for the triangle, is going to be equal to x divided by l. So our formula can be rewritten as d multiplied by x divided by l equals m lambda. So the problem is actually asking for the separation of the two slits. So we're trying to solve for d. So all we need to do is take this formula and algebraically solve it for d by multiplying both sides of the equation by l and dividing both sides of the equation by x. So we can find that d is equal to lambda multiplied by m multiplied by l divided by x. So all that's left for us to do is to plug these values into a calculator. So d is equal to the wavelength of the light, so that's 680 nanometers, or 680 times 10 to the power of negative 9 meters, multiplied by m, so that's the order of the fringe. The problem tells us we're looking at a third order fringe, so m is equal to 3. We multiply by l, so the length between the screen and the slits, which is given as 2.8 meters, and we divide by x. And the problem tells us that the third order fringe we're looking at is at a distance of 38 millimeters from the central point. So that's 38 times 10 to the power of negative 3 meters. And if we put this into a calculator, then we find a distance of about 1.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4 meters. And that is our answer to this problem. That is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing, as that will help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a question or a request, leave a comment down below. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.